Paul visited for a couple of minutes with inmates in the tent jail. Robbie and I, robbery, and I never want to come back to this place again, to this con these okay. conditions here. Dole heard from a dozen people whose lives have been affected by crime. Um, I've had guns shot off in front of my house. I've had my car door kicked in. I've been surrounded by gangbangers. Dole, a former Kansas prosecutor, promised he would make fighting drugs and crime a priority. We're going to pledge on day one, myself and Jack Kemp and my administration, that we will cut drug use in half in, the, in my first term, in the first four years. And Dole blamed the disintegration of family for the crime problem. And where do they end up? Well, they end up inside or in Tent City, somewhere in America. After touring Joe Arpaio's tent jail, Bob Dole thinks there may be some ideas here that he can take nationally. Is this a model? Do you see this as a model for the rest of the country? Well, it probably wouldn't work in some parts of the country because of different climates. And I think sometimes when they see what happens after somebody's been convicted, you know, they, they don't have to work. They watch color television. They get all the things they want. They're not certain who's being punished more. Inmates who listen to Dole's speech from behind a chain link fence think being tough on crime alone won't solve the problem. The only thing we're trying to say, but uh, when we get out, we're gonna, we need help to, uh, for jobs. A lot of the guys like myself in here, I don't have, I have dyslexia. I don't know how to read. They ought to have classes in here for people who have uh, problems in schooling. Stuff like that. You said such a waste to see these young men in there in it these is. tents. Yeah, it is. Do you see enough on the on the rehabilitation side here in these tents? Well, I think uh, what they want this is what they call tough love. I mean, I think you you want them to understand we don't want to come back here again. And I think uh, uh, you know they they make an effort, but they've got to make an effort themselves. Dole today also hinted that he would use the National Guard not only for drug interdiction along the Mexican border, but to apprehend illegal immigrants. John, Democrats viewed Mr. Dole's appearance in the Valley today in much the same way that Republicans viewed Mr. Clinton's visit to the Valley last week. They were not impressed. As correspondent Steve Kraft reports, Democrats are trying to blunt the attack on Bill Clinton's crime-fighting record. Let's have a uh, nice Arizona welcome for the next President of the United States, Bob Dole. <laughs> Bob Dole came to Sheriff Joe Arpaio's tent city talking tough about crime. But Democrats say he's talking trash, especially since the 270,000 members of the Fraternal Order of Police just endorsed Mr. Clinton. It's the first time the police union has gone with a Democrat. The chief of the state party says Mr. Dole's anti-crime message has a hollow ring to it. Bob Dole comes to town and he starts talking about more money for prisons, but he voted against more money for prisons by opposing President Clinton's crime bill in 1994. He's talking about things that either President Clinton has done or that he opposed when he was in the Senate. So he may know how to talk the talk, but it's Bill Clinton who's walked the walk. Not only do Democrats take a predictably dim view of Bob Dole's crime-fighting credentials, they also don't give him any style points for his foray into Phoenix, considering the Republican nominee only drew 350 people to his arrival at Sky Harbor Airport. It's kind of staggering to me that they had a lot, as much time to plan, the Republicans had as much time to plan for this visit as we had to plan for the president's visit, and that that's all the number of people who wanted to see Senator Dole in his only public appearance. Um, we have the president returning to the state tomorrow to speak at the Grand Canyon, which is far more difficult to get to for the vast majority of Arizonans than is central Phoenix. Uh, but I think there will be probably about four or five times that number for the ceremony at the Grand Canyon. And that bodes well for the president, Democrats say. Even a Republican poll shows Dole and Clinton in a dead heat in Arizona. Democrats feel if the president runs strongly here, he'll probably win in big states like California and New York and call the White House home for another four years. Talk about the police union, Steve. For the first time in a long time, they've gone democratic, and yet Mr. Dole says that does not necessarily reflect the real view of things. All well, three police unions representing 70% of the police rank and file in the country have all endorsed Bill Clinton this time out, and that has not happened for the Democrats. They're ecstatic about it. The Republicans say, well, you know, it's the unions that are involved here. It's not the rank and file. The Democrats say, well, you know, they've gone Republican before, and all those times they went Republican, Republican uh, candidates were never complaining that union about people the union, were supporting right. them. Only now is it an issue for them. So this is going to be kind of a back and forth thing all the way up to election day. Yeah. So true. Steve, talking about back and forth tomorrow.
President Clinton will be in the state, his second trip to Arizona in a week. Not to be upstaged by President Clinton, Dole actually moved up his trip a day because Clinton is here tomorrow visiting the Grand Canyon. And he is expected at that time, the president, to designate a million acres in southern Utah as a national monument to protect it from mining. 10 News is at the Grand Canyon tonight at 10. We're going to have a live report on how the area is preparing for the president's arrival. As for Mr. Clinton, he spent the day in Michigan before heading off to Illinois. Thank the president you. stumped for votes Thank by you. pointing to stats that show America is safer American and more prosperous since he took office. To, uh, Tooth Company, three's a crowd. That's the word from the Presidential Debate Commission. The nonpartisan board says Reform Party candidate Ross Perot here should not be invited to participate in the debates. That, that's because they don't think Perot has a realistic chance of being elected. VP nominee Pat Choate says if Perot can't debate, the American voters will miss out. Back here in the Valley, a retired school teacher behind bars after allegedly trying to hire a hitman. Police arrest 63-year-old Edward Hook of Mesa. Investigators say Hook tried to hire another man to kill the boyfriend of his estranged wife, Cindy. He even gave the man a down payment, according to police. The man Hook allegedly hired backed out of the deal and called police. Hook is charged with one count of conspiracy to commit murder, no relation. The Phoenix Fire Department feeling the heat after more than a dozen firefighters are suspended or put on leave. The Resource Management Department, which takes care of equipment and uniforms, is the focus of a four-month investigation. It shows some employees allegedly lied about working holidays for extra pay. And there are also allegations of physical harassment and abuse. Employees also allegedly misused the print shop and city facilities for personal gain. Out in Los Angeles, it is back to court for former football star O.J. Simpson. Sure is. Simpson covered his face with a newspaper. You see it there as he arrived to testify at a custody battle over his two children. His kids have been living with Nicole Brown Simpson's parents since the murders two years ago. In addition to this fight, his civil trial also getting underway tomorrow. And for the fourth time in less than a month, stormy weather stalls efforts to recover wreckage at the TWA crash site off of Long Island. Now it's Hurricane Fausto that's kicking up 12-foot waves and forcing divers out of the water, but about three-quarters of the wreckage so far has been recovered. 3,500 U.S. troops now headed to Kuwait. Defense Secretary William Perry says two brigades from Fort Hood, Texas, should be in the Persian Gulf by the end of the week. They'll join 1,200 other soldiers who are already in Kuwait. Perry says the move is designed to put Iraq on notice. Russian President Boris Yeltsin will remain in the hospital a week longer than expected. Yeltsin was admitted on Friday night without any public announcement. Doctors say he's undergoing routine tests for bypass surgery. One American and two German surgeons will help with the operation. So far, though, no date set. A quiet day for astronauts aboard the Space Shuttle Atlantis. The shuttle is headed toward the Russian space station Mir. They're going to pick up U.S. astronaut Shannon Lucid. Lucid has been in space for more than six months now. Atlantis will return to Earth with Lucid in nine days. The newest addition to the Houston Zoo drawing quite a crowd. Take a look at this baby Mediterranean donkey. This Aww. rare animal is a domestic breed that's in danger of extinction. The baby doesn't have a name yet, but will likely grow to be some two and a half feet tall and could weigh as much as 450 pounds. It's hard to imagine. Oh, and he loved his mommy. Did you see? He was hanging right by mommy. I did see that. Yeah. It's delightful. Yeah. An Arizona man draws inspiration from Forrest Gump. We're going to tell you why and how coming up a little later on. My line is weather. Uh -huh. I got a great idea. Why don't you change the toe? What's my weather? <laughs> Are you kidding? Kiss my thermometer. Plus, in the Hollywood Prime Spotlight, one show makes a comeback with some special guests. This model decides to keep the skis in the closet for her upcoming wedding. But first, will Carrie Strug's acting debut turn into a gold medal performance? Arizona Prime News will be right back. I'm June Thompson. Coming up tonight on 10 News at 10, companies that make life easier for working mothers. In tonight's inside story, what lengths some valley companies go to to make sure they are family friendly, helping mothers balance a career and family. Plus, we head live to the Grand Canyon for a preview of President Clinton's visit there tomorrow. That's tonight at 10. You're watching 10 News. Coverage you can count on. Fox 10, it's TV your mother warned you about. Open up, Jeffrey, it's your mother-in-law. Need a deadbolt? Go to the base, home base. 
where these Academy Gibraltar security doors are just $66.97 each. Go to the base. Home base. The strength and beauty of a thoroughbred. The power of a Vortec engine. The ride of a champion. The comfort of a roomy interior. And right now is a great time to get all the power, grace, and style of a 96 Sierra by GMC. Now, before the 96 model year comes to an end, Sierra by GMC. See your GMC dealer today. It was no other than Frigidaire who was first with a warming drawer to keep dinner ready for those last to the table. And the first who dared to remove the agitator in a washer that now gently tumbles dirt out. Only Frigidaire defied all others with the first built-in filter putting clean ice and water within reach. So it's no wonder Frigidaire is first to give you up to a $100 buyer reward with just a phone call. Call 1-800-FRIGIDAIRE for your certificate today. The look of better performance can be yours. A penny goes a long way at Walgreens. Now, when you order supersized prints with your film processing, you get a second set for just one cent per print. That's right, a penny a print. And of course, you get quality processing and next day service seven days a week. 24 supersized prints are just $5.99 every day. And right now, a second set is just a penny a print. Walgreens makes every penny count. Need new lighting? Go to the base, home base, and get these Galleria 300-watt halogen torsier lamps, just $11.97 each. Go to the base, home base. Welcome back. Her life has been a whirlwind since the Summer Olympic Games, and tomorrow night on Fox 10, Olympic gold medalist Carrie Strug has a cameo on Beverly Hills 90210. Tonight, only on Prime, Strug talks to entertainment editor Bud Wilkinson about her acting debut. These days, Carrie Struggs hustled here and hustled there. Her life dictated by an appointment book. And when her appearance on Beverly Hills 90210 airs on Fox, she'll be on a plane from New York to Arizona. It was really exciting for me to be able to be on the set of the show and to meet all the cast members because I've watched the show in the past. And it was just a bit overwhelming to actually then be there. Wait a minute. It must be a computer error. That class has been full since spring. <sighs> oh, what does it take to get a class you won around here? What, do you have to win a gold medal or something? It doesn't hurt. Anything about the experience that surprised you at all? Uh, well, the cast members were really nice, and it seemed like they were excited to meet me, which seemed a little bit different because I was just so excited to meet them. The experience was a bit nerve-wracking. I've had no acting experience whatsoever because of gymnastics. I didn't even take drama in school. So initially I was a little bit nervous, but everyone made me feel comfortable. And once we got started, everything was fine. Now are you hooked? Do you want to do more acting? Well, I hope to do more in the future. I know I have a long way to go, but it was just a great to take part in the show, and I hope to learn from the experience. Regardless of one's experience, acting's less strenuous than gymnastics, and certainly less tedious than signing countless autographs. Yeah, yeah the one thing everybody complains about in the business is just the fact of how boring shooting can actually be. It's not as glamorous as people might suspect. Yes, I couldn't believe all the time and effort that they have to put into each episode. It's pretty amazing, and I realize that, you know, they have to fit in with the sound, and everything has to be perfect, and everyone always, you know, says they wish they could be a star and be in the movies and TV, but it's a lot of hard work. I guess it's just like anything. If you want to be good at it and have it be successful, it takes a lot of time and effort. While Strug hasn't hung up her leotard, she has made a donation of a memento from Atlanta to Planet Hollywood in Phoenix. And she says acting may be as tough as gymnastics in one respect, learning to laugh on cue. I'm entertainment editor Bud Wilkinson, Arizona Prime News. And once again, you can see Strug's debut. It's tomorrow at 7 o'clock, and you can see it right here on Fox 10. Still to come on Arizona Prime News, a bullet grounded this bald eagle, but find out why he could be ready to fly once again. But first, this is what's left behind after a ferocious storm in the southeast. Dave Muncy has details when Arizona Prime News continues. 
Hey, it's your TV here, and I like to party. Gonna have a party. <laughs> Fox 10, that's cool. You know what else is cool? The new dating game every weekday at 3. The sweet romance continues at 3.30 with the newlywed game. And hey, Rosie will tickle your TV too bad 4. Don't touch that remote, because I want to see Fox 10 News at 5. So keep me on Fox 10, and I promise I'll tell the VCR to stop eating your tapes. Now, let's party. Watch your Fox 10. It's happening right now at your Pontiac dealers. And we're going all out to give you the best selection of new Pontiac Bonnevilles with up to 1,000 cash back. We've got all out closeout prices on every new Pontiac, like this sporty Grand Prix with 800 cash back. But these exciting Pontiac values won't last long, so don't wait. Hurry to the all out Pontiac closeout. Only at Showcase, Bidoff, Bud Beck, Peoria, Yates, Culver, Sun. Another subtle reminder to change your oil. Q-Lube, the quality of Quaker State and an oil change. When Volkswagen decided to make our mountain bike a standard feature on their new Jetta, we said, cool. We got a chance to check out their Jetta, and they got a chance to check out our bike. We tested handling, braking, suspension, and of course, safety. The limited edition Jetta Trek, complete with roof rack and 21-speed Trek mountain bike. On the road of life, there are passengers and there are drivers. Hi, everybody. Dave Muncy. First look at prime weather. Let's look at our high today. Boy, look at that. Better than yesterday at 88 degrees. We had 89 yesterday. You see the normal for this time of year would be 98 degrees. 74 on the low. Normal would be 73, so we're low on the high and high on the low. As you can see, uh, 109 for the record for the day, 56-hour record low for the day. And currently, we're starting to clear the clouds off. We still have a few of them out there. It'll be mostly clear through the evening. But we have 83 degrees, a little breeze out of the west at 3, the humidity 37%. The dew point temperature, it's up and down a little bit, but at 54 right now. And the uh, rainfall is still on the minus side after 3 and 75 hundredths of an inch on the year. It is a rising barometer, 29.86 inches of mercury. And as we look across the uh, state tonight, you will see well that cold front is pushing out of the state at this time it's actually it's it's kind of pushed southward uh, at this time and we did have some rain showers most of them were way up in the northeastern section of the state we did see a few showers uh, behind that front and then early in the morning just north of Phoenix up in the Cave Creek area we did see some shower activity uh, as well and here you can see that front how it just kind of pushed down it's stalling out a little bit it installed out a little bit more earlier in the day it's picking up a, a little bit of speed right now this front here has kicked off a lot of storm activity down through South Texas they had some flooding up uh, near Erie Pennsylvania three inches of rain and and some flooding up there and tornadoes uh, touching down are reported at Tynan and Mathis in Texas you know a lot of tornadic activity down in the southeast last night let's go to Atlanta look at the cleanup as the folks got up today and just started working uh, their way through the mess there were reported uh, eight tornadoes from Florida across Georgia and in the Carolinas uh, through the night last night so it was uh, a real rough night for everybody. As we get back to the satellite picture, you will see things are a little different down through the southeast tonight. There's still some activity down there, but things have dried out. Here's a massive storm track that's pushing through the midsection of the country this evening. You can see a lot of moisture with that. And we continue with uh, what is basically a nor'easter, a low pressure system right here. High pressure pumping in the cold air, the warm moist air mixing with it. And if it were a little cooler, there would be a lot of snow up here. This is actually a real early system for that part of the country. Let's take a look at what we have on tap for the next couple of days. A little breezy tomorrow, 92. Then you see the temperature up just a little bit, but below the seasonal norms, we'll have more in just a bit. I, I think we're out of the hundreds. Oh, I don't no, know. I do. You're going to jinx us now. Don't say it out loud. I already did. It's too late. Bummer. Bald eagle found shot in the White <laughs> Mountains two months ago. It's making progress in his recovery. But it's still not known whether he's ever going to fly in the wild. Marie Samaggio has been following the rehabilitation of the raptor known as R2. 
it doesn't seem fair that he was stopped from his path because somebody uh, found a need to shoot him. July 10th, a critically injured bald eagle found on the Apache Indian Reservation is flown by SRP to the valley. R2's leg is shattered from a bullet. Because of man, he is unable to spread his six-foot wingspan and soar in the wild with his mate. His new home on the range is this cage at Liberty Wildlife. A team of professionals are working anxiously for his recovery. I want the bird to go back to its mate, um, but you, just, you never know. So you can't, you, it, it's hard to not get it, um, excited about it, but it's also easy to be very disappointed. The prognosis is not good. Last Friday, surgeons removed dead bone tissue from R2's leg. It is the hope the surgery will now allow healthy bone tissue to rejuvenate. When a bullet goes through, not only does it shatter the bone, but it carries debris into the wounds and it tears up and kills tissue so so it makes it even harder to heal than just a normal wound right now r2 is learning how to manipulate his new splint because he has this splint on now it's awkward for him to stand so he has to stand with one foot on the perch and this other foot draped before in front of him or behind him Doctors will know in a couple of weeks if the surgery is a success. He's getting feisty again, which is a good sign. If the operation is not a success, doctors will try an experimental project using collagen injections. It is the hope collagen will enhance R2's bone growth. Liberty Wildlife's release rate is about 50%. While this bald eagle will remain here in the education program, the jury is still out on whether R2 will ever be released back to the wild. Marisa Maggio, Arizona Prime News. Now, if you happen to run across injured wildlife yourself or you want to volunteer your time, you're welcome to call Liberty Wildlife. Hundreds of people sign up for their place in history. That story and more coming up next in the World in Prime. Plus, an Arizona man goes on a cross-country hike. We'll tell you why. Sky Harbor turns out to be quite a bargain compared to other airports around the country. But first, why would a teenager open fire on a quiet college campus? Arizona Prime News will be right back. I think you know I am here, Ed. Oh, look, Jack, I'm retired. No more burger wars for me. Ed, I need you to help make Jumbo Jacks. You mean? Yeah. At 99 cents, they're so popular, I'm having trouble keeping up with demand. Let's do it. I love the smell of mayo in the morning. Hold it. This isn't you, it's an older guy. Oh, that was before I got rid of my gray hair with Just For Men hair color. Come on, that's too natural to be hair coloring. Just for men. Apply and in five minutes, rinse. Gray is blended away for a totally natural look. Think it'll work for me? In five minutes. Just for men. Looks too natural to be hair coloring. And now try Just for Men Color Gel for the hard-to-color hair of mustaches and beards. Brush in, rinse out. Just five minutes. My husband and I both work. And um, next year we will have two children in college and it will be very hard for us to put them through even with the two incomes. Working families are struggling but Congressman J.D. Hayworth voted with Newt Gingrich to cut college loans while giving tax breaks to the wealthy. He even wants to eliminate the Department of Education. Congress will vote again on the budget. Tell Hayworth, don't write off our children's future. Tell him his priorities are all wrong. At Luby's Cafeteria, we start from scratch with farm fresh fruits and vegetables. There's beef, chicken, and roasted turkeys. Piping hot rolls, homemade pies and desserts, all made from scratch in Luby's kitchen. So the food you choose is always hot and fresh. We do it every day. Lots of people may not know it, but they sure can taste it. Luby's Cafeteria, good food from good people. This is Fox 10. Conserve your remote's batteries. Don't change the channel. Well, 
Welcome back. The story is just in tonight. Former Vice President Spiro Agnew has died at the age of 77. Agnew served as Vice President under Richard Nixon and resigned in 1973, months before Nixon, after pleading no contest to a charge of tax evasion. Seen here at Richard Nixon's funeral, by the way, two years ago. Now, we do know that he was taken to a hospital earlier this evening, but no further details are available. Once again, former Vice President Spiro Agnew dead at the age of 77. In other news tonight, a teen goes on a shooting rampage at Penn State University. And that story tops tonight's look at the world in crime. <laughs> A 19-year-old woman spread out a tarp in the middle of campus and opened fire with a rifle. One person died, another was hurt. The terror came to an end after someone tackled her as she reloaded the rifle. Witnesses say the shooter goes by the name of Crazy Jill and has a history of mental problems. There's no motive for the shooting and police say she didn't even know the victims. A man accused of killing three social workers in South Carolina is found critically hurt after an apparent suicide attempt. The suspect allegedly walked into the State Department of Social Services yesterday and opened fire. He was upset that his kids were recently placed in foster care. Big problems for a Scottish Roman Catholic bishop. He resigns after reports that he ran off with a divorced woman. Reverend Roderick Wright says he is physically and spiritually unable to carry out the responsibilities of his office. People line up to celebrate a big day in American history. 209 years ago, the nation's founders signed the U.S. Constitution. Folks in the city of brotherly love actually got to add their signatures to a copy of the document. And a Kansas City neighborhood is under invasion from monarch butterflies. Hundreds of the butterflies are resting up on their way south for the winter, and they're not shy. Most of them spend time relaxing on people's arms and on their backs. And an Arizona man is walking from Miami to Seattle, coast to coast, to promote AIDS awareness. Louis Rochon began the 5,200-mile march this morning. He's hoping to raise $10 million to help children living with HIV. He got the idea, actually, from the movie Forrest Gump. If you remember in that film, Tom Hanks goes on a cross-country run. According to a national survey, you can find some pretty good bargains at Sky Harbor Airport. It's true. The survey ranks everything from the cost of hamburgers to parking fees. Jim Schneebelt shows us how the prices at Sky Harbor compare. Shopping at Sky Harbor Airport is big business. Thousands of travelers pass through here every day, many with hours to kill and vacation dollars to spend. What are you buying? Arizona Sun Lotion. We come here every year to buy Arizona Sun Lotion. You think you get a good price on it? Absolutely. Absolutely. $9.99 is $9.95 is the best price in town. But not everything at the airport is a bargain. According to a national survey, t-shirts at Sky Harbor are among the most expensive airport t-shirts in the country. The average price for a t-shirt here is $15.99. The national average is $11. And the price of a burger and fries at the airport is also higher than the national average of $3. So that would be $5.10? Right. Is that worth it? Absolutely. Why do you say that? Because it's a beautiful portion of American fries, by the way. <laughs> and it's your original the way you want. It's good. It's got lots of lettuce. Fresh. It's worth money. Sure. It's uh, comparable to most airports around. Let's go have a beer. This is our Cave Creek Amber. Amber color is real smooth. The average price of beer at the airport is about $3.50, close to the national airport average. But according to the survey, the best deal at Sky Harbor Airport are the taxi cabs. It's only $6 for a cab ride from the airport downtown. And airport parking is also among the cheapest in the nation. The national average is more than $7 per night. So there are deals at Sky Harbor Airport, but travelers have to know where to look. Jim Schneebelt, Arizona Prime News. Would you like to video? An historic discovery in a basement could be the oldest feature film ever made. Well, check it out. Coming up next in the Hollywood Prime Spotlight. It's a gap t-shirt and my own clothes. Plus, this actress makes plans to be on a game show. And big news for Parrothead fans. Jimmy Buffett is working on a musical that will debut at Miami's Coconut Grove Playhouse next season. You may know that Buffett's biggest hit was Margaritaville, but can you name his second biggest hit? We'll have the answer for you after the break.
1996 4x4 four four of the year. But you don't get it unless you earn it. And once again, Jeep Grand Cherokee did. But with all of Grand Cherokee's major new improvements, was it really any surprise? Jeep Grand Cherokee. Now get up to $1,150 in option values. This is your year for the award-winning 4x4 of the year. Office supplies, clothing from Mervyn's, there's nothing uniform about them. Matt's physical therapy went well today. He'll be home soon. Yeah, but are we ready to take care of him? At Aetna, we realize that just because the crisis has passed doesn't mean your worries have too. So we offer nurse case managers who can help you stay in control. I'm glad to hear this. Track down the equipment you need. And I've got some new information. It's one small part of a big idea we call informed health. Hey. Hey, isn't that? Sure is. And that can't be. Yep. All right, well, what's going on here? Smart People Society. They meet here every Tuesday. Smart People Society. <laughs> what am I doing in the Smart People Society? Well, that's your Ultima, isn't it? The Nissan Altima. Ranked the best mid-size car under $20,000 in initial quality. I can tell our, our regular producer, Mark Steinke, is back, That's because right. last night we had Bill Osher, our other producer. Right. He we had Guns and Roses on, right. and now we've got this. So. Heavy metal, and now Mark's back, and, and we have Sherry. Yeah, how many, how many years old is <laughs> <laughs> No, that's just sort like of Mark 30, and sort of Bill. 30-some years old. Yeah. Well, some yeah. fans say it was worth the wait to see one of America's top grunge bands. There we go, grunge bands. That story leads <laughs> off the Hollywood Prime Spotlight. Pearl Jam Seattle concert had to wait in line for two hours just to get inside, but they say a great concert made up for the inconvenience. Pearl Jam kicked off its 12-city North American tour last night with a sold-out show in the Emerald City. It's their first hometown concert in close to three years. One famous model plans to tone it down this weekend. Christy Brinkley is tying the knot for the fourth time. Brinkley has planned a small New York ceremony, though. That's a big change from marriage number three back in 1994. You may remember Christy and Richard Taubman exchanged vows on a mountainside in Telluride. My line is weather. Uh, I got a great idea. Why don't you change it to what's my weather? <laughs> Are you kidding? Kiss my thermometer. <laughs> a classic game show about to get a new look. What's My Line ran for 18 years during the 50s and 60s. That made it the longest running game show in primetime history. Miramax Films plans to give the show a new cool look. Quentin Tarantino and Sharon Stone are expected to make appearances on the program. No word on when the show will be back on the air. And speaking of classics, the American Film Institute finds what it believes is the oldest surviving feature film. Now, this is a clip from the 1912 silent version of Shakespeare's Richard III. The film had been sitting around in the basement of a 77-year-old film lover. The movie is believed to be three years older than the previous record holder, which was Birth of a Nation. All right, we've got to eat a little crow here. Yeah, actually, yeah. Mark Steinke, our producer, who we mentioned before, who you don't know, but is a fine gentleman. <laughs> He did put together the Guns N' Roses Guns thing Rose last thing. night before he Bill. left. We so thought it was a personality. He is tragically hip after all. <laughs> Time now for the answer to our Hollywood Prime Spotlight quiz. <laughs> Your turn, Robin. Okay. Well, earlier we asked, what is Jimmy Buffett's second biggest hit? If you guessed number two, Finns, that is not correct. Finns hit number 35 back in 1979. Some kind of French affectation there in the speech? What is that? <laughs> and know, also wrong, happened. Cheeseburger in Paradise, a what? number uh, 32 hit. The correct answer, come Monday.
cheeseburger in paradise. Yeah. Was that a song? Yes, it was. Oh, okay. Uh, come Monday, climbed up to number 30 in 1974. Yeah, now. Videotape of that, by the way. Okay. Coming up in sports, the Coyotes battle Vancouver tonight in preseason hockey. And the chaos continues on the set and for the Cardinals as the team shuffles <laughs> another starting quarterback. June takes it to electric football to figure it out coming up next. <laughs> You're watching Fox 10. Now repeat after me. I like it. I look ridiculous. Come on, someone has to go across the street to the Ford dealership and get the details on their factory authorized clearance. And you are our man. Uh, woman, funny. <laughs> Give me my purse. Get over $1,400 in savings on Explore during Ford's factory authorized clearance. Cash back on Windstar. Plus get $1,500 back on Windstar only during factory authorized clearance going on now at your Greater Phoenix Ford dealer. What's going on? I got a run in my stocking. He's got a run in his stocking. If you're a member of Flight Fund, America West's worldwide frequent flyer program, this is the kind of place your miles will take you. To be fair, frequent flyer miles on other national airlines will also take you there. These are America West fares. The beauty of it is that since our flights cost less, our miles do too. America West. It seems silly to pay more. My husband and I both work, and um, next year we will have two children in college, and it will be very hard for us to put them through, even with the two incomes. Working families are struggling, but Congressman J.D. Hayworth voted with Newt Gingrich to cut college loans while giving tax breaks to the wealthy. He even wants to eliminate the Department of Education. Congress will vote again on the budget. Tell Hayworth. Don't write off our children's future. Tell him his priorities are all wrong. This Wednesday... Bring the champagne. Valerie's having a secret affair. There's something going on here that I don't know about that I probably should know about. But how can she move in with her lover? I just want to make you happy. When he's still living with his wife. Hello. Where the hell are you? Mom, I forgot to call you. A brand new 90210. Then, Julia's new boyfriend won't take no for an answer. You touch her, you force her to do anything she doesn't want to do, I'll kill you. All starting Wednesday at 7 on Fox 10. I'm trying to think of how many quarterbacks the Cardinals have had in the last seven years. And how many they'll have in the next seven weeks. It's been almost Jude. 20 or something, well, Jude. It's about 13. 13, uh, okay. I've seen every one of them. A baker's, a baker's dozen. <laughs> it, well, I, you know, I'll tell you what. We, a lot of people are saying, okay, what's up with the Cardinals? The quarterback controversy. It took a different turn today. Vince Tobin opting to go with Kent Graham, which I think is a good decision. Now, let me say this before we go to our video. I talked with somebody inside the film over the last couple of weeks, and they said Boomer's uh, accuracy was a real concern in some situations. Let's show you what we mean by that here in just a couple of basic situations. You really don't have to know much about the game. Now, this happened against New England. Boomer Sasson behind the center here up against the New England Patriots. Now, this basically is just a basic little dump pass to the flat to Leland McElroy. We have him circled here right here for you. Now, there's a little bit of pressure here, but you have got to complete this pass in the NFL if you want to be successful. And even with pressure, I think that's inexcusable. You've got to put a little air under it, get it to the running back. Now, let's take a look at our circle right here, Frank Sanders. This is basically a little out pattern. He's, this is a high percentage pass, or it should be. Now, I think Boomer gets pretty good protection here. Watch Sanders go right here. Now, see this passing lane? That's a clear lane. Hit him right in the numbers, right between the 8 and the 1. Let's watch the pass here. I think Frank could have caught this, but I don't want him to strain on a little pass like that. Hit me right here. Be accurate. And at times, I can always pick out a bad pass in fairness to Boomer. That was a bit of a concern. Let's go back to game 1 now against the Colts, and let's look at Frank Sanders' top of your screen. This was a deep pattern early on in this game up against the Colts' defense. Now, Sanders is just going to fly past the Colts' secondary. Boomer sets up, gets pretty good protection right here from his line. Now, watch him go deep and keep an eye on Sanders. Look at the yardage he's got in front of the defender. He's got them both beat by a good four to five yards. The ball simply goes right over Sanders and, of course, incomplete. you got to make those kind of throws, and that wasn't happening with Boomer. Now, let's simulate what happened. And we go back. Remember that board game in the 70s, the electronic board game here? This, a lot of kids got this for Christmas. Simulating some things. We have an aerial view here. You see the quarterback right here, and now you see the offensive line. Now, let's see the target right over here. 
you see the target, and the target is actually beating the secondary here. Let's get a closer view here and get a little bit of that throwing motion. You see the, the football going in there. This is a 70s board game. I know I'm regressing a little. Oh, I went right over the, uh, the intended receiver, kind of a Mr. Bill type of thing. And then you see really a lot of disor. Look at that disorganization. But as I said, Vince Tobin is making a decision to change quarterbacks. I just feel like that, that we're 0-3 at this point in the season and that uh, uh, we haven't done anything uh, to get a spark. Uh, we need to get a spark uh, offensively. Uh, and unfortunately, the quarterback is a position that, that usually is a focal point. And uh, I'm not you know, disappointed in Boomer. I, I wouldn't hesitate to, to uh, go back to, to Boomer. I think he's still a, a quality quarterback that can win football games. But I just felt like that... Uh, that we needed to uh, to make a change to you know uh, get this football team in the in a winning track. You know, as John Hook just told me, whoever completed a pass on an electronic football that was tough. Now let's let's be respectful. Boomer's a class guy. He's having a tough. I think he's lost his confidence. Let me say a word about Kent Graham. I want to see him with the score 0-0. Zero, zero. I think he's got a lot of potential. He's got good leadership. I think he should have been the starter with the Giants in front of Dave Brown. Let's see what he can do against the New Orleans Saints. Give him a chance when it's 0-0 zero, zero at the start of the game instead of coming in two, three touchdowns down. Let's get to some other news. Jim Leland steps aside as skipper of the Pirates. Tony La Russa says this guy's the best manager in baseball. Leland, you know, really upset because they've had to get rid of Bonds and Benita and Denny Nagel resigning today as skipper of the Pirates. Hey, John Stockton's going to be around for three more years with Utah. He signed a three-year deal worth $15 million today. Kenny Smith, remember him with the Houston Rockets? Two championship rings. He signed on with the Detroit Pistons for one year. And how about our Phoenix Coyotes? Second preseason. Don, hey, let's make some hay, right? They're not making hay, folks. Vancouver doing a number right now. Second period. Six, nothing. It is a final now, we understand. And that's uh, Marcus Daslin with the score there for Vancouver. That is a final just in. The Coyotes losing to Vancouver by a score of six to nothing. That's a quick look at some of the sports news. We'll update baseball and have more on the quarterback situation with the Cardinals at 10 o'clock. But going back to this situation, uh, you know, we make light of the Cardinals, but let's be respectful. These guys, there's some outstanding pros, Seth Joyner, Larry Centers, they're very frustrated, trying to play hard to get through this thing. As I said, I still want to see this team take a step up. They've got the Saints coming up. We'll have more on that matchup later this week. But Kent Graham at the controls. Let's see what okay. he can do. All right, Chief. Change. Thanks. Dave Muncy coming up next with another look at the forecast. Plus a real burger battle in the Big Apple, and it could have you seeing double or triple or quadruple. We'll explain wow. when Arizona Prime News, which is the real one, continues. We'll Looks like that. Buddy Ryan right there. <laughs> no. It's taken an entire year to build. Along the way, things were changed, rules broken. Now it's finally ready. Announcing the Dodge Summer Clearance with great deals on every 96 Dodge Stratus left in stock. Plus, get $1,000 cash back or low 1.9 financing. Better act now because Summer Clearance means our best sales year is nearly over. See your Arizona Dodge dealer. I'm telling you, it's a salad. See? Vegetables. It's a sandwich. Look, pita bread. Wendy's delicious new fresh stuffed pitas have stirred up quite a controversy. It's fresh like a salad. We stuff big soft pitas with fresh vegetables and natural cheese. But this one's filled with chicken and I pick it up like a sandwich. There's even two filled with tender chunks of chicken breast like our garden ranch chicken pita. Well, I ate it and I don't feel guilty. Dave, can you settle this? Well, it's fresh like a salad and filling like a sandwich. See, that's why he's the boss. Pick up a Wendy's fresh stuffed pita today. You can feel it start to burn all through here. All you can think about is getting rid of it quickly. I even tried Tagamet HB, but it didn't work fast enough. Finally, I asked my doctor, and my doctor said Mylanta. Fast-acting Mylanta was made to work fast where heartburn hurts most. Soothing, on contact, all through here. It's so fast. It's nothing like Tagamet HB. My doctor said Mylanta. Welcome to Arnett's. Unlike some cars, leasing an Accord is an act of self-indulgence that's also smart. Welcome to Arnett's. Since our new Accord lease offers a lot of car for the money, it shows great financial acumen. Welcome to Arnett's. Enjoy your meal. The valet may not park it up front. 
But who knows? Good evening, Mr. Harnett. Good evening, George. How are we doing tonight? Just fine, sir. I'm glad to hear Now you can lease a Honda Accord LX for $239 a month for 33 months and an $1850 down payment. All right, this is a good step. A round of applause for our friend Dave Menzi. Yay! Terrific. I don't deserve it. It was atmospheric conditions, actually, so we'll see here. But as you can see, things have been pushing through here through the day. That's a cold front. It kicked off some windy conditions across the north. We saw a little rain up there. In fact, early in the morning, we saw some rain just north of Phoenix. And then late in the afternoon, up uh, in the Winslow area, we saw some uh, stormy weather as well. This is the way things are looking tonight. There's the cold front that pushed through. This is an occluded front right in here, and you can see some storms coming off of that. And uh, it's getting somewhat stationary now, but uh, still pushing through the south and the Gulf states. A little less active than it was last night, but you can see that uh, there is still some moisture up in the northeast. That's going to continue for another day or so here, as that low pressure system doesn't look like it's going anywhere. We'll keep our eye on that for you. The nasty weather in the Rockies and then in the Southern Plains. And this is the way things are going to stack up for you as we get you rolling for tomorrow. Looks like a nice morning at 70 degrees, 84 degrees at lunchtime, 89 degrees for the ride home, and a very pleasant 78 degrees about this time tomorrow evening. Mm -hmm. this is very nice, isn't nice it? my friend. Yes, very nice. this is the time of year I find out where my real friends are. <laughs> no, it is. You find yes. out where your friends are in August. In August, yeah. that's true, yeah. Very good point. Thanks, Dave. Well, more than 1,600 people try to look just like Dave. It, no, 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 not no, that no. Dave. No, no, In no. tonight's prime picture, it's a Dave Thomas look-alike contest. That's the guy. Thomas is the owner and founder of the Wendy's restaurant chain. More than 1,600 men are across the country audition. 1,600 to play Dave in an upcoming Wendy's commercial. Five made the final cut. They were flown to New York City. The winner will appear with Dave in his 500th commercial. The losers each got a gold statue. Which one was Dave? Was that a gold statue? It looked crystal. like some kind of crystal. Yes. Yeah. We've had another breakdown here. <laughs> <laughs> We're having lots of those tonight, aren't we? Boy, oh boy. Just read it, okay? Okay. One choo-choo train in the high country can certainly be called unique. So our Bill Leverton, of course, could not resist going to check it out. Well, reporters aren't supposed to get involved in the stories they cover, but this was just too much to resist. I'm Bill Leverton. The ultimate model railroad is coming up next on the Arizona Road. Not coming home! On Arizona Prime News. On the next Excess Hollywood, Excess Tommy Lee Jones. Will his new movie erupt in time at the box office? Excess Brooke Shields getting tough on her new sitcom. Then suddenly sees it. Back off, Buster. Excess Janine Garofalo. What's her new way to sound off? You never know. Yes, you will on the next Access Hollywood. Access Hollywood. Tomorrow at 6.30 on Fox 10. Rosie welcomes Dan Aykroyd and Grace of My Heart star Ileana Douglas plus a live performance by country singer Travis Tritt on The Rosie O'Donnell Show. The Rosie O'Donnell Show. Tomorrow at 4, right here on Fox 10. We used race car tricks to make Stratus stick. Now we're performing similar tricks with a truck. The new Dodge Dakota. It's full of surprises. Neon taught us that cars can be fun. Now we're having fun again, playing a slightly different game. The new Dodge Dakota. It's full of surprises. Things in life can change like that. All that work, and it's gone. But Farmers Insurance can help you get things back to the way they once were. That's why everything we do, from the way policies are written to the way claims are handled, revolves around getting you back to that point. Isn't that what insurance is supposed to do? Hey, wires can short out. Toasters can catch fire. These things happen. But with Farmers, we can at least help get you back where you belong. I want to get us a little dinner. How's uh, Mexican sound? Great. For the price of an ordinary sedan, Kia now offers Sportage. With 4x4 prowess that's been proven by winning its class in the Baja 1000, it turns the most mundane task into an adventure. Sportage from Kia. Finally, the adventure of a 4x4 for the price of an ordinary sedan. What? Watching Fox 10 is cool. Yeah, I have a super season. Watching Fox 10 is cool. 
I'm June Thompson. Coming up next on 10 News at 10 o'clock, a bizarre case involving this former Mesa school principal. He is accused in a murder-for-hire plot. Plus, President Clinton is set to return to Arizona. We're going to head live to the Grand Canyon for a preview of his visit tomorrow. Watch 10 News at 10 coming up next. Okay, June, see you in a few minutes. Anyone who knows our Bill Leverton knows that he is something of a right. train nut. Right. <laughs> if there is a chance for him to ride a train, Bill is there. And tonight he's found the ultimate railroad, and as you can imagine, he's pretty happy uh -huh. about it. Out on the Arizona road near Sholo. This is Kevin Rowell, and Kevin started seriously playing with toy trains when he was three years old, and he's 29 now, and still plays with toy trains, but now he is really serious about it. Now his toy trains take up over an acre of forest on Fawnbrook Street in Sholo, and his steam engine works exactly like the real thing, with exactly the same controls, and Kevin and any kids nearby sit on the train and head off onto the main line of the Fawnbrook Northern Railroad. Well, my dad's worked for Apache Railway, and I've always been around trains. I either want to work on the railroad or have my own railroad. Now I have both. The Fawnbrook Northern Railroad is 10 years of patient labor, laying over a thousand feet of track by hand, literally handcrafting the steam engine and paying attention to minute details like scale buildings all the way down to a scale and Kevin says working outhouse. His kids like the railroad of course but so does wife Michelle and Otis the train dog. Ah it is not a hobby for those who don't plan to be serious about it. I haven't really kept track but I would say the whole thing over the 10 years about 40 50,000. <laughs> yeah it's a lot. <laughs> It is very close to the real thing, and the look and feel is very satisfying, and the Fawnbrook Northern operates on pretty much the same rules as a real railroad. It has all the problems of a real railroad, steep grades that make an engine work, and deep places in the ground only a 75-foot-long hand-built trestle will span. Please don't lean out of the train while crossing the trestle. You don't have to hand build a steam engine. You can buy an already built scale model of a diesel locomotive, and if you talk real nice to Kevin, you might get to drive it. I talked real nice. On summer weekends through the first weekend in October, anybody is welcome to come ride, especially kids. The cost is a donation, how much is up to you, to help defer expenses. A uh, man's got to have a hobby. Separate the men and the boys by the price of their toys. <laughs> In Sholo, this is Bill Leverton on an Arizona railroad. Bill wow. looked like he enjoyed that, didn't he? Bill sure did. And yeah. I know two little boys who want to go there now. Yeah, Sholo, nice spot. Mm -hmm. Thanks for joining us tonight for Arizona Prime News. 10 News at 10, coming up next. Have a great night. Good night.